Go. Okay. Hi, I am doing my third video. You're going to need a Sharpie, a dark blue, brown, yellow, green, and light blue. Let's get started. Oh, this is a pirate ship. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm turning my paper as a window. And I'm going to kind of go up to right about here. Like a little... Kind of like half of the paper, but just like a little bit down right. Like one baby foot down. And just do round squiggles, maybe some straight lines. Like that, because we're doing the water. There. Now we're going to draw the pirate ship. Where. It's kind of like a bird's beak, a big, long bird's beak, like yesterday, but a little bit bigger. Like this. And do one across from here. Like now you're going to start from the edges. Um, down, around, touch the water, and then come back up and connect. Now we're going to do just a straight line across for the top. Okay, now this is not, this is a pirate ship, and kind of like a um, a sailboat. So, I'm going to do two round ones, come across a little, and right here, down, and connect. And do the same thing on this side. Do you want this piece? Okay. There you go. Okay, now, I'm going, it's kind of like an X, an X, but sideways, like up and down. Up and then down across. I'm going to come right here, do a round, then I'll come right here, then stop, and do one right here. I'm going to go across. Around and come to that. There we go. Now, since we're trying to make the bottom part for this, it might be a little tricky because you have to, this is rounded, and you also have to connect in to the, um, the round part. So what I do for that is I come around, go up, and then it connects in to the round part. Now these parts are not angled, so I'm going, these parts are shorter than these parts. So, they're shorter because we don't want it to be too long, because maybe somebody is standing in the way right there, and they don't have to move. Mm -hmm. So walk across, and they have to walk across, and um, and they get hit. They don't want to get hit or duck or climb over or something. I'm going to do the flag if you want it to be in the back. Yes, you can do that. I want mine to be in the front. Do a line right there. Come up here. Mommy, I'm going potty. I'm gonna put a, I won't 
want mine to be green and yellow. My flag to be green and yellow. So I'm going to add a flower on here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the sky up here and then the sun. Then we'll start coloring. Don't go in the middle because it's not going to behind. That's what I do when something's in my way and I'm trying to do a line across. It's like the sky is going behind that. So then I can line back up and finish it. Okay, now let's do the sun. So we can get some color in right here. These are going to be black. And it's going to be the shadow of the sun because the sun's not there and it's just shining. Okay. Now I'm going to start with my darkest blue that you have out. You don't have to use marker. You can use crayon. You can use colored pencil. Um, you can use anything you want that's coloring. Or you can paint it if you want. I'm going to take my darkest blue and we're going to do the water if... And if you have to turn your paper, that's what I have to do all the time. If you need to turn your paper, that's fine. It's not cheating. It's just making it's just making your life easier to color in. How'd you decide to pick a flower for the pirate ship flag? I just like Frozen 2's flag on their boat. Oh, and it's a flower? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like, um, it's like, it's goldish yellow mm -hmm. and some dark green around it. And, um, it's not exactly like this. There's some points right here. I just figured that looks... Okay, for me. Do you think a lot of pirate ships have a flower as their flag? No. No, okay. Like, skull face with swords around it. Oh. So, if your viewers want to do a different logo? Yes. Could they do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can do a different logo you, if you like pirate ships. You can, if you like pirates, you can do a skull with swords around it. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can do like a heart or something. Mm -hmm. I just like Frozen 2's flag on their boat. That makes sense. I also really like Frozen 2. I love Frozen 2 too. So the reason I'm doing this first is because remember how I talked about yesterday where you always put your name in the bottom right? Mm -hmm. I'm doing the blue first because we're going to do the name last because we need to let the marker dry. They could pick like any logo that they want. Yeah. They could put a heart up there. Yeah. They can do the same as me. Could they? Uh, could they put a sandwich up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. You like sandwiches a lot. Cool. I like burgers. Could you put a burger up there?
color are you going to do your son? I'm going to do my son yellow. Hmm. But them's are red though. Could you use your imagination and do a different color for the sun? Yeah, if you want rainbow. Yeah. I think I would make my son rainbow color. That would be okay with me. You don't always have to make lots of pictures. I think that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Sometime, one time I made a potato dancing. I want to see that picture. Paper. Wait, Dad, you can't see it. Oh. You have to use that. Oh. Let's finish this ocean up here. We are finished with the water mm -hmm. now. I'm gonna move on to my brown. Okay. Now yeah. the brown. Do the sun. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um. Uh, I'm gonna do the brown. The brown takes a long time because we have to do brown up here, brown down here, all around here, right here, and then we'll be finished with the brown. And have you guys been um, noticing my order? Because I did. Have you been noticing my order? I went watercolor, paint, drawing. Tomorrow's going to be a watercolor. I have not figured it out yet. There's one we might go with, which might be a rainbow purse. So that's one we might go with. We have no others that we have thought of yet. And my, a friend of mine, they taught me if you're, if you are trying to color in a big, big space, you can always do lines like here, right here. So you, so you can, um, so it's like you're coloring little spaces. Uh, you're coloring a little thing, but it's actually a huge thing, but in a different way. Who taught you that? Oh, my friend Sadie. Sounds like a smart girl. <laughs> She's smart. What does that marker smell like? Okay, yes, these are smelly markers. You don't have to use smelly markers. It's just the markers I have and I wanted to use markers. This smells like cinnamon. Mm. He does not like him. 
Mommy. I'm gonna go back with my blue real fast because I missed a little bit of water pieces. Okay, I'm going back with my brown. Now, the drawing was fast because hopefully I didn't go too fast. But the coloring is going to take a long time in the middle. In the middle. Why don't you finish coloring it and we can show it a picture at the end of the video. Or you can just fast forward through these yeah, parts. Yeah, you can fast forward through these parts. That works too. So keep going, yeah, you're doing great. Oh, keep videoing. Gotcha. Is that going to be the brown pirate shirt, Maya? Okay, now we're going to go at the top where we were um, doing the, um, or these are the poles and the flag hangs on one. These are going to be brown too because they're poles that are brown on the pirate ship. They're made out of wood. Okay, we're finished with the brown. Finally, my wrist is starting to hurt. Um, now, I want to do the flower and the sun. Sun now? Mm. I'm gonna start with the sun. What, Mom? What did you say, Mom? There's my son. We're going to take our dark green. We're going to take our dark green and do the outside of the flag and go really slow because we don't want any green on the yellow flower. And you can go over the black because the Sharpie marker will not come off if you are using a Sharpie marker. Um, if you are using markers like this that are dark, it's pencil is still gonna work yeah you use pencil it, or if you paint it it's still going to work okay. the flag 
and we are done with the flag. I'm doing the sky now. You need a light blue for the sky. For the sky. And then we're going to go over with our Sharpie marker and do the name on the bottom right. What does that one smell like? Uh, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Do you feel like the color, seeing the color influences what it smells like? What? Do you think that seeing the color makes you smell a specific thing? Oh, well, this one kind of smells like raspberries, mm. but it's blue, so, so it must be blue raspberry. Yeah, that makes sense. Daddy, how did you get the other arm off? I got one arm off. And this is just a straight line. This is just a straight line, and you don't want to go over the brown because. Right here in mine, it's in the sky. You don't want to go over the brown. So you, you pick up your marker and then do the um, pointy part and go right here if you have it that tall. And then come back to your fat part of your marker. Okay, we're finished with our drawing, but we still have one more part to do, which is write our name in the bottom right. Don't write my name. Write your name. Are you going to write your name right now? Good question, Cole. Yes. Okay, we are all done. This is what mine looks like. It's okay if your doesn't look like if your doesn't is your yours doesn't look like mine. I did a, I might have done a different symbol up here. Or I maybe did these uh oh, maybe I maybe done the you maybe done the parts right here, yellow. So, and you might have done the sky, dark blue, and the water, light blue. Your picture can be different than mine. Bye, see you tomorrow. We're going to do watercolor tomorrow.